Please welcome APAC past president Amy Friedkin. Israel is poised to become only the fourth nation in the world to reach the moon. Just a few weeks ago, the tiny Jewish nation launched a lunar lander as part of a SpaceX project mission from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Our next guests are two of the men behind Space IL, the organization responsible for this incredible achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Space IL co-founder Yonatan Weintraub and Chairman of Space IL, Morris Kahn. Jonathan, tell us the origin story of Space IL. I mean, how did you and your friends come up with this crazy idea? So uh, three engineers sit in a bar. Sounds like the beginning of a joke. Uh, but this is actually how it all started. Uh, my, myself and two friends sat down and th said, why not? Why not try and attempt uh, doing this amazing thing of putting Israel on the moon, making Israel the fourth nation uh, to land on the moon? and do it as a part of a competition uh, that was organized back then in, from Google. But ever since then, we grew way past that point, and now, right now, we were joined by an amazing team of many, many people, including Morris Khan here, uh, myself, who is, is a great supporter of the project. Israeli Aerospace Industries, because apparently uh, satellite to the moon, spaceship to the moon, is not something you can build in your backyard, so we had to get the professionals, volunteers, and engineering team, a huge engineering team, all building or built the spacecraft to go to the moon. Amazing. Morris, you are a big financial backer of this project. How did you hear about Space IL and what persuaded you to get involved? Well, first of all, I'm a member of a group called Sea Space Symposium. <clears throat> it's a group of people who are involved in the ocean and in space. We have astronauts, we have people from NASA, Buzz Aldrin, who's uh, one of the first men to land on the moon, is a member of this group. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm actually a member of this group, and space is, is actually part of what we do. And when I met, I, I actually went to a lecture. Somebody from NASA had come to a lecture at the Tel Aviv University, <clears throat> and these three young men got up on the BAMA, and they said they were going to launch a project to put a spacecraft on the moon. What did you think? And I tell you, my first, my first thought was really one of sympathy. I felt, that, <laughs> I felt that these boys really needed help. So I asked them, <clears throat> do you have any money? And they looked at me and said, money, money, what's that? So I explained to them that actually they're going to need money if they want to do anything. I said, come to my office. I'll give you $100,000, no questions asked and start. And that was how I got involved with these three young people. And I learned a lesson. Be very careful of three young men who come out of a bar with an idea. <laughs> it's dangerous. <clears throat> so tell us the status of the mission. I mean, where is the lander now? I know we have some photographs and a video? Yeah, so if you can show the video, uh, so the spacecraft is now on its way uh, to the moon. You can see the, sun, the, the sunrise on Earth uh, when it's going on its way to the moon. Uh, we can see the plaque uh, that we, that's the second image, uh, that we're taking with us to the moon. It has uh, the nice uh, uh, um, saying there, small country, big dreams, and you can see uh, Earth and the horizon. And this is actually the bottom, you can see the spacecraft itself. Uh, and uh, finally, the most important picture, if you can show the picture where we can actually see Israel, uh, as seen from the spacecraft. Oh. Uh, I mean, you can see I was waving that day, and they clearly caught it on the camera. Amazing, amazing. Morris? Let me tell you, this picture 
this iconic picture that actually came from a spacecraft, which was a selfie, which showed the, showed the Earth, it showed the spacecraft, and it showed the sign, small country, big dreams. That one came on the 5th of March, and the 5th of March was my 89th birthday. This was a... <laughs> this was my birthday present, and you can't buy a present like that for money. Although I can tell you, it really costs money. <laughs> okay, tell me, how much does it cost? Well, I can tell you, you say, how much does it cost? I can tell you to date, I personally put in about $42 million. But I can tell you one thing. This $42 million, I think, is going to be the best investment that I've ever made. So I have in my hand something you gave me backstage, Yonatan. And you told me this is the Bible. Yeah, let me, uh, so, yeah, so this is actually a copy, what I'm holding in my hand, this is a copy of a Bible that we took with us on the spacecraft on a special time capsule. And that time capsule, uh, we ask a lot of the program of Space ILL is doing outreach for kids to inspire them to pursue careers in science and engineering, which is something that we feel is very important. Kids today, they want to be rock stars, they want to be celebrities, but we also need the engineers and scientists, especially in Israel, but also in the U.S. And we took a time capsule that encapsulated uh, their dreams and their hopes and what science means to them. Uh, we have a huge team of over 100 volunteers. All of them uh, went to schools to talk to kids, and we reach over a million of them through those uh, volunteers. And that time capsule, along with the hopes and dreams of all of those who build the spacecraft, is on its way to the moon right now. And it's going to land there and show what is Israel like 2019. Okay, and what happens next when, when it, and your, your date for? April 11th. 11th. April 11th. 8 p.m. Israel time? <laughs> uh, we cannot say it just yet. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, so, what happens? You want to take this? What do you want to know? What happens next? What happens <laughs> when it gets to the moon? Well, when it gets to the moon, I think it's going to be a moment of tremendous pride. Now, I'm a friend of Buzz Aldrin, and Buzz was actually one of the first two men to land on the moon. <clears throat> and I'd like to just draw your attention to the fact that these two men left Earth for another planet, not knowing that they would actually come back. And this took tremendous courage, and these are amazing people. And when I'm with Buzz, very often people will come up to him and say, Mr. Eldrin, I remember where I was when you landed on the moon. And you ask what is going to happen? I think when we land on the moon, everybody in Israel will remember where he was when we landed on the moon. And Yonatan, what happens with the capsule when it does land on the moon. Yeah, so we have a few uh, scientific experiments that we're going to carry with us. One of them is uh, some sort of a mirror or retroreflector about this big that was given to us by NASA as a part of a collaboration we did with them um, that would be standing on the moon. And then NASA can come every night and send a laser to that mirror and wait until the light bounces back. And they see the flash. And this is how they know how far the moon is. And there's some science around it. But I think, and this is going to stay there forever uh, on, the, on the surface of the moon. And I think that every night when they do this experiment, they're going to shine the laser light and going to see the flash of light about two seconds later. And that's uh, the first Jewish star. <laughs> After the Star of David. Yeah. So this is obviously a remarkable moment for both of you. And the whole world is watching. So what does the moment personally mean to, to both of you? I think that, um, you know, it was Purim just now. And um, when you walk down the streets, you can see all the kids dressed up in astronauts or spacecrafts. And I think that's the, that's the essence of what we're trying to do. We want to have kids and say, 
I want to be a scientist when I grow up. I want to be uh, uh, an engineer. You know, I, I do like reality TV. I watch The Real Housewives. I enjoy it. You know, I got to admit. But, but we also need the engineers. And to see their, 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 light, their eyes light up is something that's worth all this hard work, I think. Morris, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? <clears throat> Once I got over the initial challenge of doing it, and the challenge of supporting them and what they were doing. And I've nursed this project all the way through from the beginning. I look at this project and I say to myself, when we land on the moon, everybody in Israel, and I think that every Jew in the world is going to be a little bit taller and stand a little bit straighter. I think it's going to give us all a tremendous sense of pride. I see this as a, as, a, as a spearhead to take Israel aircraft industry into space. And as a matter of fact, we've already achieved that. A German company has signed a contract with Israel aircraft industry to put a spacecraft on the moon based on what we did. So we've taken Israel into space. And the third thing is actually the Apollo effect in the United States generated a whole generation of young people who were interested in mathematics, science, and engineering. And I think this is what we want to do in Israel. And we have more than 100 volunteers who go to schools and excite the young people to actually get involved in science, get involved in space. And I can tell you, I've got a young a young great-grandchild, he's six years old, and a lecture was given to his class. Believe me, every one of those children got up at two o'clock in the morning to see the launch of Israel's Khalilit to the moon. And I have one wish, I have one, one wish, that Bereshit will travel safely and land safely and make us proud. I, I know what you mean because I happened to be in Sri Lanka at the time of the launch and I actually got up in the morning and watched it. And my husband came in and said, why are you crying? Because it's such a remarkable moment. Uh, please join me in thanking these two gentlemen for their vision and their backing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you very much.